Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be making a video on how to uh, set your um, virtual memory. But in the Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian operating system, it's not called virtual memory, but it's called swap. I made a video about this before, but uh, the video I made before, um, I set the virtual memory to a specific number but in this one I'm gonna set it to automatic so the, the operating system will um, select the optimal um, virtual memory without you having to hard code it or anything so just open up the terminal and Right now I'm going to see how much virtual memory I'm using. Right now I'm using 2.1 gigabytes because I set it to um, automatic mode. So I'm going to go into um, the swap configuration file. Here it is. So. Um, the thing I did before was I set the CONF file to 2048 or 2 gigabytes but it was originally set at 100 megabytes which wasn't enough so if you uncomment it you could use uh, this to whatever you want to set it to so I'm just going to comment this out because I'm not going to use that and this was originally commented out like that but I just enabled it to 2 and let's try a different number let's try 4 instead and this this you can uncomment it out for max swap set it 2 gigabytes but right now it's commented out so I'm gonna try 4 and see how that is before it was set at 2 so I'm gonna press control X and then Y to save and enter to get out so I'm gonna type in so I'm gonna reset it basically here reset the service and I'm gonna rerun the service and see what I'm getting here Still 2.1 gigabytes, okay, that's fine. It's better than 100 megabytes, so that's how you could set it automatically. So now it's just set at whatever it is. So what, like I said, this is kind of, this is just like virtual memory, that's all it is. So when your um, Raspberry Pi four or three or whatever runs out of RAM using the Raspbian operating system um, it starts using the memory on your hard disk for me I'm using a hard disk or your micro SD card so my computer is connected to a hard drive via USB so it's booting from a USB uh, hard drive basically so it's connected to my Raspberry Pi 4 right there so that's how I'm using it so and my uh, computer has about let's see how much hard drive space it has I think it's 250 gigabytes right there that's how much space my computer my uh, hard drive has 228 gigabytes it's, it's a 250 but it's it's at a 228 gigabytes but it's actually a 250 so that's how it works so you could um you should always have like virtual memory in here when you're using a raspberry pi because this raspberry pi That's about four gigabytes. That's a lot of uh, 
I, th I guess that's a lot for this operating system. This is a 32-bit operating system. A 32-bit version of Raspbian. It's kind of like a Linux distro for ARM-based computers. So that's how it's set up. So now I have virtual memory. I don't have to set it to anything. I don't have to hard code it to anything. But let's go back and let's see if I want to hard code it to something I want it. I could do that if I want. So to do that, I'm I'm over here. Let's say I uncomment this and put it to. Let's calculate. Let me go to calculator. So 1,024 is one gigabyte. So let's say four gigabytes. That's 4,096. Let's say I set it to 4,096. 4,096. And let's say I comment this out. Now it's commented out. Control X. Yes. Enter. Now I'm going to reset the service. See right here, I'm resetting it. And now I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna get. Still says 2.1 for some reason. I'm not getting any more for some reason, but uh, so I guess it's just best to just set it at automatic because it won't matter. Yes. Just set it to two, just the default. I guess that's good enough. Control X, Y, Enter. Okay, restart. I'm probably going to get the same number if I put that in there, so it's not going to really matter at all. I'm uh, copying and pasting because I'm using one hand with the camera and one hand with the mouse so that's why I'm doing it. So anyways that's it. Thanks for watching my H1000KS 1975 signing out.